Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here. In this tutorial, we're going to look into one of the most demanded trading tutorial on how to use line based trading for automation, how to draw lines and how we can convert that lines into automation using Algo Mojo, particularly if you're an AMI broker user, how one can perform those things is what we're going to learn in this session. Now, the module uh, has a couple of requirements. One need to have an AlgoMojo subscription, of course. Uh, either it can be a free subscription or a paid subscription. And of course, AlgoMojo Bridge as well. Along with that, the AMI Broker 6.0 or higher version and uh, real-time data feed subscription with Unvendor. So these are the mandatory requirements to perform this line-based automated trading. And a couple of uh, important uh, things to know about this line based trade automation is like uh, you can use to you can draw a trend line or a horizontal line whenever the price is crossing above or below we can convert that lines into trades of course one can uh, uh, perform multiple entry levels multiple targets multiple stop loss and of course in case if you want to do pyramiding with smart order controls all those things are possible with the line based trade automation so if I want to perform a line-based trade automation, what I need to do here is like, uh, uh, first of all, we have to go and download the module. But let me tell you one thing. This module comes with a smart exit orders, means uh, uh, entry, there is no, not much of a smartness is required primarily. However, when uh, I'm using exit orders, I need to check, I need to validate whether there is any open positions are there or not. So this module does that. It checks the open position and then if there is no open position, of course, it ignores the signal. And if at all there is any open positions are there, those open positions will be promptly closed. Now, a couple of things you need to know about it before uh, showing the demonstration. So there are a couple of uh, AMI broker terms, buy, sell, short and cover. Buy means long entry. Uh, sell means long exit. Short means short entry. And cover means short exit. So buy, we denote with the letter B. And sell is represented with the letter X and short is represented with the letter S and uh, cover is represented with the letter C. Um, so these are like kind of study lines we're going to create. For example, if you look into the charts, so the B1 is the buy line where when the price touches above that line, uh, we will be buying above those levels. B2 is uh, second entry point. B3 is third entry point. And X1 will close all the open position. Look at the quantity, quantity equal to all. So that means what it, it tried to close all the open quantity. Likewise, S1 is for short, S2 is short uh, second entry, and S3 is third entry. And C1 is, it covers all the open positions. Whatever the open position has been initiated, all the open position will get closed automatically. That's what the uh, meaning to that. Uh, however, there are a couple of modes also you need to know about it. Like the mode, like uh, one can set uh, whether they want to buy above the line or they want to buy below the line or sell above the line or sell below the line, short above the line or short below the line. Likewise, cover above the line or cover below the line. Now, those kind of things also one can configure it. Once the configuration is done, uh, automatically the trade will be started executing automatically. And the lines, uh, we have to give study lines also. Study lines are mostly two digit, uh, I mean, it can accept up, up to two characters. So B1, B2, B3 are uh, study lines one have to give for uh, buy entry and uh, X1, X2, X3 for sell lines, short lines, uh, S1, S2, S3 and cover lines, C1, C2 and C3. All right, now let's do one thing. Let's try to understand how to download the module. I want to show you that. Let me open the... Chrome and uh, let me open the browser. Now from the browser, I'm going to go to algomojo.com and from the algomojo.com, I'll go to the library. So from the library, I'm going to go to AMI Broker Modules. So AMI Broker Modules are not strategies. They are kind of a plug and play modules which can be connected to the trading system or it is kind of a plug and play module for some sort of a order execution. So if you scroll down, you'll be finding a line trading module. So under this, you can find uh, the AFL codes, the plug and play AFL codes for various broker. So let's say I, I'm going to download for a certain broker, Angel Broking. So I'll copy this module and uh, I'll open my AMI broker. So I'm going to open my AMI broker and then uh, install in my PC. I'm going to show you that. Now I had applied the module in my AMI broker. 
So what I have to do here is now uh, I have to first of all go and configure. Let's say I'll go to the parameters and I'm going to say I'm going to enter my client ID, API key, API secret key from Algomojo. And then uh, I'm going to go and enter the trading symbol. So the chart is Bank Nifty. So I'm going to enter the Bank Nifty symbol, uh, the Bank Nifty symbol according to the broker. And the exchange is NFO and I'm going to send a market order. I'm going to send an intraday order. I'm going to enable the algo status. The moment I enable the algo status, automatically the background changes to completely a different color. And uh, I want to enable the intraday mode on. The start time says any price crossing after 9.30, it will take any fresh longs. And uh, it will not take any fresh longs or shorts after uh, 15, uh, 3 o'clock. And uh, it will square off the positions. Uh, if any position is open after uh, 3.15 p.m., it will get squared off all the open positions. And by default, uh, the modes, I'm going to keep it as it is, buy above, uh, sell above, and uh, short below, and uh, cover below. The exit position has two modes, current and all position. So I'm going to say, like, I'm going to exit all open positions. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter two longs over here. So one with uh, 25 quantity, one lot, and the quantity two with uh, 50 quantity. And of course, I'm going to also going to short the markets if the prices are crossing down below a certain level. 25 quantity and then uh, key quantity is what I'm going to make it over here. And once I'm done with the configuration, now it's time to configure the lines. So I'll click on the lines and then I double click and then uh, I just enter the study ID. I want to say B1 and uh, maybe I'll assign a green color line so that it's a buy line. So automatically it brings a label buy above, B1 buy above that level and what is the quantity it is going to trade. And likewise, I'm going to bring. Uh, quantity 2 also, line 2, I'll double click and then similarly I'll give the green lines and then I'll call this study ID as B2, my second long entry, I'll press OK and automatically it brings an uh, buy to entry point. For covering the positions, I want to keep an higher target, so all the open position I want to cover it. So I'll click over here and then I'll click on that and then I want uh, uh, to say like x1 exit so but it should exit everything so you can see that it says quantity equal to all so if i right click i'll go to the parameters then if you scroll down i can uh, go and adjust all position if i don't want to adjust all the position if i want only current so then b1 whatever is the quantity it will try to exit only that particular quantity only if i change this to all open position, it will try to square off all the open position. That kind of smartness has been already implemented in this module, right? So likewise, uh, on the downside also, I want to configure the shots. So I'll click, uh, double click on that line. I'll give some orange color and I'll say S1. S1 is for short one and uh, automatically the quantity one will be coming over here. And likewise, I'll click on the downside and another short entry. I'll call this like S2. I'll click on that and give an orange color. I'll press OK. This is short two. And finally, I want to close the position. All the open position, I want to close it out. So I have to give a cover. So C1 is what I have to give. C1. I'm going to differentiate with an yellow color, probably. An yellow color. And I'll press OK. So automatically, the C1 uh, will cover if the price is going down below that. If the price coming and touching that level, the touch of the level, it will try to exit the, all the open positions. However, all the controls I can change from here also. If in case, if I don't want buy above, rather I want the price to be uh, buy below, I can just change it automatically. You can see that the buy entries are changing. Instead of buy above, it's changing buy below. Means price has to go up and then it should start coming, retracing to the B1 lines or retracing to the B2 lines after the price going up. Then it will take a retracing entry so if you are having that kind of uh, uh, trading requirement, yes, that is also possible. Similarly, uh, short below, cover below. So those kind of things also adjustable, right? Uh, but instead, if in case you want to have a uh, target, let's say I will remove these lines. Instead, I want to enter only one long, but then I want to keep a stop loss. So I, I have one long. So I want to buy about this line. So what I'll do is like I'll go and change the parameters into buy above. This is buy above. 
I will drag this line. I can drag automatically when I drag this line, automatically it will try to uh, close. So when the price is coming down below that, I want to keep it like a stop loss. So I right click, I'll go to the parameters, I'll change the mode of sell to sell below. So that if the price comes and sells below that, I will exit, I'll take the exit. If at all price directly coming and selling down below that, if there is no open position, in, then uh, it will not exit at all. Even if I want to take a current position also, it will check the open position before exiting. So that way, the safety is ensured that without entry, exit will not happen. If, you are, if there is an entry, there will be an open position. If there is an open position, then promptly that particular open position will be closed. Now I am in the hourly time frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a trend line over here. And whenever the trend line is going to get broken, I want to transmit this into orders. So I want to short the markets. So I'll double click. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to click and then I'm going to enter uh, S1. S1 means short first entry. And I'm going to give some color to that. So I'll uh, give some orange color to that. So whenever the trend line is going to get broken, I want to enter the short and I want to book the profits as soon as the price is touching the 39600 uh, levels. So I'll double click and then I'll give an uh, C1 cover entry and I also give some uh, yellow color uh, to that. And I press OK. So automatically when the price is breaking down, Right. It takes a short entry as soon as the price has touched the level and immediately if the price started breaking down and it touches the target, automatically it automatically closes the open position. Now, if in case if we want to adjust the uh, position, you can just drag the lines or you can drag the trend lines so that one can automatically adjust the position before the order is triggered. If in case you want to take a fresh entry, already the orders has been triggered. So there is a provision to do that. If you can right click, you can go to the parameters, you can click on uh, press to reset. So automatically it will reset all the arrows, all the signals, what are the signals it has been taken, it will be erased and it will be ready to take fresh orders uh, because one line, it will take only one signal only. That is how it has been designed. All right, now we are at the end of the session. I hope you learned something uh, very meaningful about how to perform automation using the line trading module. If in case you have any queries, you can send your request to support at the rate of algomojo.com. If in case you have any suggestions and feedbacks, then also you can send a mail to support at the rate of algomojo.com. See you in the next video with more interesting content. Thank you.